opened your stance. I want you to feel like, here's the key, Philip, and I'm going to tell you this right here. It's pretty simple. Um, conceptually, you got to you got to feel the club is a little more out in front of you. You and I are the same size. Look at my swing here. I don't know if you can see it up there on that. Okay. I'm going to lighten up the screen a little bit. I got Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. I'm so my arms are very short, uh, but I keep the club out in front of me. See, I got the club out in front of me on the backswing in that little cone. You sure do. See, I did when I was crouched lower. And you're doing better here. That's really good. That's a perfect takeaway right there. That's not your problem. This isn't your problem right here either. This is a good backswing. Coming down is where the club is too far behind you. That club head is back behind you. Now when I swing, I keep the club pretty much similar to where you're at. But look where my club comes down. Right in that Right in that beautiful slot. And that probably affects my distance. Too. Well, it, it affects everything. Um, you can you can and will and you have you just aren't doing it at the moment yeah, I, just bring it right down that same slot. I think what we want to do what controls the path of your club is very simple the shoulders in your golf swing move incorrectly so you have a lot of tilt tilt and slide don't work if you're trying to get the club in front of you. Rotation. Turning your body is better. So, when you go down here, your impact position is pretty good. I like that impact position. It, the club's just a little behind you on the downswing, therefore the pass a little into out. You either hit a hook or a push. So what we want to do is we want to get the club to point more down the target line right here. So how do we get the club more in front of you or more in that cone? Simple. Just feel like it stays more in front of you on the backswing. Well, that's my problem. I get it back here all the time. That is still my, my baseball swing. So, you know, what's the difference between your setup and mine? Well, we're built differently, for one. You have long arms. I have short arms. Your hands are very upright. Oh, I'll get that one. Yep. Your hands are very upright, you know. Uh, I like to see the shaft pointed right at the belt line. Notice how vertical the shaft is here versus mine's pointed pretty much through my belt. But when I do that, the tip of my club comes up. Doesn't have anything to do with it. Doesn't matter where it is at address. Only thing that matters is impact. Where's your club at impact? No, 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 but no, no, stay there for a minute. But you're, when I, when I, nobody, no, a few weeks ago and my hands were down. You said the tip of my club was up. It wasn't That's right, but it down. was too. But it was now you've gone the other direction, just a little too much. Okay. I got so you. it's just it's just it's just it's all right. Now here are the improvements you made. So I want to tell you, you've done really well on your takeaway. That's awesome. That's a perfect takeaway. The back swing's much better. better. It's much better. It's much better. Uh oh, I, here we go with my head. Oh, I'm still moving way, way A little away. bit. A little, a little bit. <laughs> well, I don't want you to be hypercritical. Hypercritical? That's six inches. Watch my <laughs> head. Well, you do move some, too. Yeah. Okay, well, that makes me feel better. Yeah, my head moves. Everybody's head's going to move some. It's how it moves. My head stays in this corridor, though. Okay, that's my head corridor. It's not going to move. Your head moves in a different corridor. I left the belt like. Your head's going toward the ball too much. See how you billy uh -huh, your... Uh -huh. Alright, now watch my head. My head's going up and down, right? It's not moving forward and backwards. So it's only going this direction. I got you. I see it. It's not going that direction. I see it. So, that's the thing. You've actually improved on that, believe it or not. You, you don't think so. You've improved on it. 
So your golf swing looks much, believe it or not, your swing looks a lot better. You might not be getting the results you want, but it's a lot better. Here's why it's better. The takeaway is better. The club face position is better at the top. Uh, the head is moving less forward, and the club is not coming as far from the inside as it was. Now, can we improve on it? Sure. Am I a perfectionist? Yeah, a little bit Good. too much. Good. I want your hands right in that corridor. Sorry, I want the club head in that corridor, in that corridor there, in that cone, when you approach the ball like mine is. So you, for, for me to say it in a different way, uh -huh. I need... I don't need it back no. here. No. I need it out here. Yeah. Watch it. That's just, for me, that feels like taking it straight up and straight down. That's right. That feels like. That's right. That's exactly what it feels I take like. take it straight up, straight through, and that also helps me get it straighter. Yeah. Let me show you another pro. All right. I got some video footage from the PGA Championship. This guy plays in Europe. You've never heard of him. He's a good player, but he's he's not a household name. Now, what I want to show you is his takeaway, which looks like yours. Well, his club is not open. Okay. Yours and his look the same. He's closed. The face is actually square, and here's why. Here's the sp spine angle, Here's the, and the face is square to the spine. If he stood straight up, his club face would be perpendicular to the ground. But we're bent over at 60 degrees, so therefore the face is going to be at 60 degrees. All right. Now, as he goes to the top, there's his club at the top. Perfectly parallel. Yours isn't too bad. Now, what, is, what do you notice about his club face? Well, it's not closed. No, mine is closed. But it doesn't matter. Yet. <laughs> Here's what I want you to remember. There are no tour players that aren't in this corridor right here coming into the ball. Yeah, I hear you. So I've got to have what I would call a more upright swing. So look where his club is. That's the magic corridor. Look what that, what's that stick on the ground for? That's an alignment. Yeah, why do you think he's doing that? <laughs> Boy, he wants to hit, he wants to hit it straight. He wants to hit it How come saying? amateurs never do any of that? These no, guys I are... It, I put it on the ground all the time. Okay, okay. good. All right, so what's the difference between your club and his? His is parallel, exactly parallel to his feet. Yours isn't. His club's in the corridor. Yours isn't. All right, sure. I see. That's why the game's He's difficult. Pro, I'm not.